Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative, and in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the animation effect on the Divi filterable portfolio. So when you load the page or click between the filters, there's always that same animation effect. Let me show you that, and I'm going to show you how to change this. Here we have the example, and you can see when I'm clicking here, there's this like fade in kind of from the side, and then it kind of just is the same for everything and it's kind of boring like maybe I don't want it maybe I want it to go the opposite way or maybe I want it to fade down or up or whatever so I'm going to show you how to change that oh if you're watching this on YouTube be sure you click the link in the description we will have the code snippet here we're going to start by adding a CSS class and that way we can um, target this specific module in our website so the class that we are adding is PA portfolio animation and you can see we are putting it right here in the module so that's the first step um, go over here to your website and add it into the filterable portfolio module so open the settings go to the advanced tab right here in the CSS IDN classes you'll want it to say PA portfolio animation and we're done with that go back to the tutorial next step is adding the CSS snippet. Now, um, the way this is going to work, so there is a default you know, animation, obviously, built into Divi. And so what we are doing, I'm going to give you that snippet. And that may sound backwards, but I'm giving that snippet as the base, and then we can modify it, customize it, okay? And I've added important so that we can override the default. Okay, so they are using shorthand, um, in other words, they're just saying animation and then um, like the animation name, this keyframe is fade left. How long's the duration? How many times does it repeat? And then here is the um, animation, what do you call that? The um, timing function, animation timing function. So that's all within one you know, property here, the animation, okay. Now, if you felt more comfortable, you could break them up into individual properties and you can learn more about that. Like here, I have a link using CSS animation. So again, we're using the base default one. We'll copy that and then we'll customize it from here. So you would want to take this and put it into your website. Now, what I'm going to do is exit the builder. You could put it in your page settings here, um, right here in this custom CSS box. What I'm going to do, since I'm the one showing you, I can have a little bit of a different approach. I'm going to use a Chrome extension. It's called User CSS. I use it a lot for these tutorials. It helps me a lot because I can just click here and it opens this like sidebar thing and I can paste. So there you can see that's what you'll be pasting into your site. Now I would like to customize it. and. The options are, surprisingly, there's some built into Divi. So this, this fade left, I actually have a list of the ones right here that are built into Divi. Now fade right, I guess that's the, the one that's the most obvious. So let me just do that, actually. Let's start really simple. Fade right. Did you notice? Okay, let me just undo it. See? Let me redo it undo it redo it it's different see just like that we've overrode it now you could also change like um the the duration you know you could make a really long animation probably would not want to do that and you could also change this um cubic bezier to like um ease or you know linear um, basically whatever you want there so that's kind of the, the, the gist of it. You can change, you can customize what's already here. Now, let's just show a couple, I guess, just to um, get an idea, like fade bottom. You can see that's kind of nice. It doesn't have like the coming in from the side, you know, just up from the bottom. And you could do, well, let's see, fade, fade out top. You can copy them if that's easier to see which one you like. That was kind of crazy. This one's multi-view fade and I'm not even sure what that even means. 
but I do kind of like it. In fact, if I lower that even more, instead of one second, like even just like 0.3 seconds, like a nice quick animation or maybe a half a second, I kind of like that. I think I maybe like that the best. I don't know, maybe the fade down the best, but it doesn't matter, that's up to you. Now you can make your own animations, remember. Um, you can learn more about that, like your own, you can write your own keyframes and do all that stuff. It's a little more advanced, so we're not really getting into that, but basically I'm just showing you like how to change the direction and the speed and like um, uh, timing, like if, if you wanted to use ease and, or ease in out or something like that, okay? All right, so we do tutorials like this every single week, something related to Divi or WordPress, whatever we're getting into. At the time, there's always something new every week. We have hundreds of tutorials, yes we do, so you can check out our archives on YouTube or on our blog, and I'm sure that you will like that, and that's what you'll get, something like that, every single week if you subscribe. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.